So, here's an update on the Mean Green. Got the Peerless 700 down there, upside down. To an upgraded size sprocket, you probably can't see crap. To a bigger sprocket. Um, this is all, um, rock sliders to protect it. As you can see, all the tubes up front, etc. This is the shift linkage right here that coordinates down there, which goes to this. So that's fifth gear all the way forward reverse. Make sense? Um, still got suspension in the rear, 20 horse up front, and the chain. Tight the whole time without chain tensioners, which is really nice. Did have to cut the floorboards for the um, new rock sliders, which kind of sucks, but eh, whatever. They are chrome that will be painted because chrome sucks. Um, rock slider there, there. I did what was kind of stupid and made these too high, so I had to bend that one pipe down like that to protect the shifter because. I built those before I made the shifter, if that makes sense. I didn't have the shifter put on there until after I did all the frame framework and stuff, and then I started adding the cross braces. And the reason I don't have more going here and here all the way back is I have to make it so I can still take the transmission out without having to cut crap. Makes sense? If it doesn't, yeah, that's your problem. Um, that doesn't have a clip. Don't know if I want to extend this original one up front so I can run a throttle. Here's my choke I've already installed. This is gas right here. This used to be brake, but this red pedal is now going to be brake. I am going to order a hydraulic cylinder right here, or not hydraulic, um, master cylinder that's going to connect to this. I already have juice brakes in the back, a hydraulic caliper. So this sh should stop at a dime. 23 inch tall, or 24 inch tall um, Goodyear all terrains on some Honda wheels. And yes, that's a Chinese fuller frame. I notched this out because my first setup was this transmission upright the correct way. And I had the chain up there with the tensioner, which ran a spring to this chain. And it just kept messing up and screwing up. But um, now I'm running it straight like on a four-wheeler. That, that does kind of ruin my ground clearance like before. So it's not as... It sits up just as tall. But I have all this hanging down, down there. Instead of being up inside the frame. Which it was. Which I was going to... With that setup I was going to have to mount the battery in here. Up in the dash. And all this was just... Yeah. As you can see though. Where I had that tensioner pulley when the chain was locked there, but, you know. Um, 20 horse, Intec, V-Twin, yeah, Briggs, yeah, etc. Um, just have a muffler wired on it with some bailing wire right there for now, which is, eh, whatever. Um, it needs a tune-up, it's running like crap. That's just sitting there for temporary running use to see if it would go. Yeah, um... Gonna keep the original gas tank, which that's actually MTD gas tank. That somehow fit, or Yardman something, I don't remember. It, it's a lot bigger than what it was in there. It was a little black, old-fashioned tank, which is nice. So, Which, I don't know how long it's gonna last with this big-ass engine. Now that I think of it, I kind of just want a little tin horse on here. Um, flathead tin horse would, been a little, would probably be the best thing and build it to make a little bit of horsepower and you just have one straight up the back because now I'm going to have to set up all this manifold up front and go back and it's really heavy and I need to finish cutting up that four wheeler frame over there um, and I'm going to hopefully put it on the front of this and this should have suspension in front and rear and it'll be like a four wheeler which I know I am using four wheeler parts but it's the easiest and I didn't have to pay for anything so far well, I have had to pay for a lot of parts, but I haven't had to pay for the main parts like hubs. I bought for thirty dollars on those on those rims and tires. There were four and four patterns that matched, and it was the same spline as the four wheeler axle. Which, yeah, stuff just went together. Um, 
the sprocket that's I welded onto a brake rotor like Doc Sprocket did is off that little motor right there, which came off the fooler, which it, I think it's blown up. I don't know. It's stupid. It has a lot of problems wiring and 20 other things, and it pisses, pissed me off, so I took it off. That's what, and I was going to put a Predator on that fooler, but I changed my mind because it was stupid. Um, that's, those are the tires that was on there. It was three, uh, but I took a snapper rim, drilled a whole new hub set, but I didn't like it because the 12 inch Honda rims are way better. I like an eight up front and a 12 in the back. I think it's the best look on a lawnmower. I hate these guys with the 12 up front, the 12 in the rear. No offense to people like Doc Sprocket that's got the Suburban. It lo still looks stupid to me because I want it to look like a tractor. I want smaller up front, bigger in the back. That's how I like it. Which does come a challenge when you build a four wheel drive, which I want to build in the future. But those are seven inch right there on the four wheeler chassis. So I'm going to have to swap it over to a set of hubs that are, I think, I don't know. They're just another set of four-wheeler four -wheeler tires right there that have some good tread. I got two of them. They got the hubs in them. Just going to swap the hubs out. They got brakes in the front, so I'll have brakes up front, but they're mechanical, which is pretty cool. And I'll have a eight-inch rim up front again. Um, I might actually put the turfs on there. I just hate this wide stance, though. I don't like the rear end being wider than that. So the front end of the new full oiler stuff, at full flex, it should be this exact lineup in the rear because it makes it steer. It makes it turn a lot easier. But at fully pushed out, it'll probably come out maybe two inches wider than the rear. I don't know. We'll see. But this is Swampy Bottom Mowers out. I'll talk to you guys later.